Well, today I've just got a small update as I've been uh, very busy since finishing my Rob Roy engine uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I've uh, finally gotten around to making my next engine from the uh, Wigwag collection. And um, this is a, a V engine which I've built. Uh, I designed this about four or five months ago. I bought all the materials, etc. Uh, but then, of course, I bought the Rob Roy cylinder and I sort of got waylaid then by... Uh, by building the uh, Rob Roy vertical steam engine. Uh, but I am pleased to say that uh, I've finally got this completed. That was obviously the uh, the wooden prototype for it. And um, well, they, there it is, look, it's a nice, nice twin cylinder V engine. And um, well, for those of you new to my channel, have not seen the, uh, the Wigwag collection before, um, this, uh, this was my first uh, Wigwag engine. This is the the vertical wigwag engine and uh, the original design uh, was sort of um, well I was inspired by a book called um, model steam engines I think it was by K.N. Harris uh, I've just been looking for the book but I can't find it anywhere but it uh, but yes there was a, a little model um, oscillating engine in the front of that book and I just loved the uh, the sort of look of it the sort of you know that sort of frontal shape there the original engine was made from castings etc etc which obviously uh, I don't have so I basically sort of um, borrowed the idea redrew this up uh, to dimensions which uh, sort of suited my design and um, the wigwag engine was born um, it was also recently featured at the um, Warwickshire model engineering show the Midlands model engineering show and the uh, Coventry model engineering group had sort of uh, chosen this simply because well my uh, plans for this the designs uh, I released out free um, on the back of my first video and uh, they obviously uh, saw the plans and thought it'd make an ideal sort of beginner's engine which it is and uh, they used that as their um, as their sort of showcase model for their uh, exhibition at the show and of course they were making it you know on the lathes and milling machines etc in fact I went along uh, I met the guys on the on the Saturday I met Dave and uh, the other fellows who were working on the machines and uh, it was really nice to, to meet up and have a chat uh, I think I've got a little bit of video footage here somewhere actually I'll just show you that now and so there you go the uh, my 15 minutes of fame as it were or rather my my engines uh, 15 minutes of fame now I've had a couple of other people contact me who've made this I've seen a couple of um, photographs that people have sent me in a video so it's uh it you know it's it's becoming quite popular actually and like I say because it's nice and simple to make uh, but the beautiful thing about my wigwag sort of um, uh, setup is um, you know everything is sort of more or less modular so the cylinders are all exactly the same. The, uh, the the piston is exactly the same. The stroke and the bore, etc., is all exactly the same. The only thing that really changes is the sort of uh, the shape of the chassis. Now, this was um, number two that I made, which is a obviously a horizontal engine, and again, it's just based on the uh, sort of the, the vertical version. And uh, so that was number two, and then so the next one in the collection, like I say, the one that I've just recently finished, is the uh, the the wigwag v or possibly the vigvag v or something like that but as you can see it's got uh, obviously two cylinders and uh, you know the, the the biggest problem i had with this was uh, trying to get that connection pin sort of working but it, it all worked out well in the end and uh, obviously with this one uh, because it's got two inputs obviously the uh, original one's just you know just a single single air input on the side there runs the runs the piston the cylinder uh, but obviously this one required two, so uh, that's still got a single air input there. But then I've um, I've made this uh, brass tubing, which basically connects the two cylinders together. So as that cylinder closes, it allows the air to, to run across and run the run the second the second cylinder. So I've I've built this little uh, air manifold here, and that's obviously supplied by my compressor. And that gives me sort of six outputs which I can use and uh, all I use is this uh, four millimeter sort of uh, poly pipe and um, I just connect that in there 
I'll just connect this to the input of the engine and I, I use all sort of um, all my engines connect with uh, just uh, one eighth of an inch um, brass piping brass tube and uh, certainly for this series all the exhaust ports as well they're all just made from uh, 3 16th brass tube so everything sort of stays the same so I'll just get a little bit of air on this now now it's not quite self-starting simply because there's obviously with the two cylinders on the uh, 360 degrees there's always going to be a point where where it's not going to go but if I can just get that going and this is at about probably 40 minutes running in time and it's uh, it's still running in but as you can see it's sort of a uh, well, it's pretty nice really let's just move it out so you can see it it's got a nice little oil cup in the middle there which uh, I'll just drop a bit of oil in actually while it's running I just had to give it a clean up because it was covered in oil and I'll, I'll also I'll just oil that uh, that connection joint there to the to the crank pin as well let's get it running again sorry there's my oil can in the way then uh, but there you can there you can see it's um so like it's just basically two of these two of these uh, wigwag engines put together at uh, 90 degrees so exactly the same with your air input and your exhaust port um, the, you know the springs conical springs and the little tensioner screw there and the same with the flywheel, I cut out another, you know, the six holes in the flywheel. I just kind of like that look. I did do the slotted one on that one, but I wasn't that keen on it, to be honest. Um, anyway, there you go. A little bit of black oil still coming through. So I'll just um, crank it up, give it a bit of, bit of pace. I don't know whether you can hear that kind of um, double beat just after the you know the, the first cylinder fires. Well, it doesn't fire, but you know gets pulsed by the air. The second one kicks in when it's sort of about halfway down. So you get that lovely sort of a uh, double sound as you as you kind of do with a real V engine. So there you go. I'll just slow it down a bit. And it will run quite slow as well. Like I say, it's still running itself in, so it still needs a, a little bit more time, but essentially it runs pretty lovely. So if you just happen to be listening in stereo, I'll try and do a stereo recording of the pulse sound from the engine. So I'll, um, I'll get all three engines uh, piped up and I'll, I'll get them all running and I'll come back to you shortly. Okay, so they're all there. Uh, they're all piped up. There are pipes. The pipes are a bit uh, unsightly, but um, like I say, if we start with this, uh, the, the front engine, which I think was this one, was it? Yeah. So that's the uh, horizontal engine running. And if I get the uh, the original wigwag going. And then, uh, of course, finally I'll get the uh, the V engine running as well. Oops, that one stopped taking too much air away. I'll just get them all down to a pace. And there you have it. 
has uh, my three three wig wag engines running. Just turn that one around so they're all facing the same way. There you go. My three little uh, wig wags so far. I might um, might come up with some more designs, possibly, you know, a horizontal opposed uh, sort of boxer type engine, and uh, maybe even one day a, a, a radial, maybe a six cylinder radial, that'd be nice. Might take a bit of figuring out, of course, but um, we'll see. But uh, anyway, that's enough for me waffling for now. So all these engines, they've been built purely from bar stock. There's no castings or anything um, using like aluminium plate for the chassis, square bar for the cylinders, um, round brass uh, for the crank, the flywheel, all turned from solid brass bar and then connected together with sort of silver steel or drill rod as it's known elsewhere such as the USA, uh, phosphor bronze bearings and uh, brass for the pistons. Um, originally in my drawing in my first engine I used Delrin for the piston but I found that it uh, in the hot weather last year it seemed to sort of swell up and seize so I replaced that with brass and um, well that's about it really so the drawings for the original um, wigwag vertical engine are available for free download uh, there'll be a link in the description below and it's also available from uh, any of my other videos on the first two engines that I built um, so I will eventually make details of this V engine available in due course so if you're interested in building any of the wigwag engines um, please do please take a look at them they're nice simple beginner engines to build and all the parts can be made on a, a lathe with a vertical milling slide you know so uh, if you do make one please let me know in the comments below or send me some pictures or something like that it'd be great to see them and as always thanks for watching <laughs>